Hi guys. I literally was outside a minute ago. <clears throat> with my food. And then now it's already raining hail. Quite intense if the camera can pick it up. This camera is supposed to be 4K. I no, this is not a 4K setting though. Quite intense. It is quite intense. It is quite intense. But I look like a schizo. You can almost say that. It's a hail of a storm. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> so, bro, this guy just shut the fuck up, man. I was reading, recently reading a manhwa, 18 plus. You guys should read it as well if you're not 18 plus. Um, it's called Noodle Next Door, and it is honestly such a good story. Like, I, I came for the horny. I stayed for the story and the story uh, how do I say this guys how do I say this boys it's so much full of like rocky love angsty relationships just a bunch of stuff it's, it's tough it's, 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 um, it's a hard to watch story it's genuinely difficult to watch it's, If I was the main character who is incredibly indecisive, but he gets like a bunch of fucking women and he ends up developing feelings for all of them he ends up taking the virginities of some as well I mean, you literally see that I don't know if the YouTube will allow me to put this video I'm not like, I'm not like fucking showing you any images or nothing I'm just telling you, you can find it yourself I don't recommend reading any of this stuff because it has a lot of time and emo emotional investment that you could use for something productive in the real world instead of this Soup. Squash and potato lentil soup. Oh my god, that's so good. Put the food out. Yeah. Skills. Have my little lunch breakfast. I'll cop late today. Incredibly late. Let me get a tissue. It's a stand. And for my mouth. Yo. I mean. I mean. Do I, do I really want to say anything? The more I talk, the more stupid and rambunct rambunctious I sound. And I was reading the story, and it's so much. It's, such full, it's full of such up and downs. I couldn't. Like, I can't tell you how much up and downs there was in the story, in the next door, that was just... Oh, was, like I said, I came for the horny, I stayed for the story, it was so good. And it's so brutally, like, realistic. And then, someone in the ending said, should've just went for the harem route. <laughs> Bro, real life is often different for that shit. Of course you can, and in cases, it, in, in case, in a lot of cases, it does work. But it's very, very difficult to pull off if you're not part of the Islamic faith. And you're trying to pull off polygamy like normal. They don't last. Those letter relations don't last long without religious. Nothing. Your soup is so good, guys. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Mm. And I was reading the story and I was I was having a video of family This video will be titled family because That's what I really I kind of want at the end of the day I was thinking to myself Okay so let's say I achieve my wildest dreams I become a world champion boxer Multi-million dollar entrepreneur I become a, a genius inventor I invent everything I could possibly want for my my show like childlike imagination, go to space, invent all the biomechanical uh, engineering type stuff with the robot arms and robot limbs and I did all that further, I put disabled people in space, that type of shit right? Which is like a lifetime worth of dedication, hard work and dedication, that's a lifetime um, effort and even then it's not guaranteed, I, I might have to pass that shit on to my kids, depending on how far I get. But let's say I achieve my wildest dreams. 
that get all the money, all the cars, all the achievement, world champion status, genius investor status, angel investor status, complete and utter freedom. I have freedom, I have fitness, but then I'm still lacking one thing, family. I'm thinking to myself, how will I make the family thing fit? Like, I want to have a bunch of kids like Elon. One, you need a bunch of money for that first, so you can feed the kids, obviously, buy clothes for them, school, trips, etc., etc., etc. And secondly, like a polygamous relationship, like I said before, it never really works. But it's the most optimal, efficient way to have multiple kids. It's, just, it's I'm, I'm in a weird spot. I don't, I don't recommend polygamy, guys. I recommend monogamy for the sake of both of you. I feel like polygamy, I don't even I feel like, I know that polygamy inspires jealousy, envy, hatred, and not in the positive sense. Like I speak before in my videos, how it's good, but you can use it to motivate yourself. But in the purely negative sense, where that bitch, da, 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 drama, drama, drama. Might as well be a rag TV show. <laughs> Please. Let me tell you guys, like, he has four girls that like him, and then he ends up choosing out one of them and getting married at the end. Spoilers. And then I just think to myself, like, whoa, bro. That was a roller coaster of the story. Serious roller coaster. <sighs> it runs my life as well because I have a lot of girls in my life that I could potentially marry. And I don't be like, cat, 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 cat. But, um, no. Obviously, if I become a if I become a major loser, I won't marry any of them. But let's say I continue my own proven path, fitness, fiscal, just looks maxing everything. I think that may never. I do want to get married one day. I do want to settle down one day. I do want to have fun. One, I want to have fun. Obviously, when I'm young, party around, etc., etc. You have to get it out of you for like a year. Party. But then again, like, that year that you spent partying could have been the year you're raising your kids. You know what I'm saying? It's all down to the choices that you make in your life. And it's often difficult to make those choices, especially when you're young. Because, like, in, in college, they expect you to know what you're doing up for, like, A-levels. And, it, like, it's just normal for you to, like, not know what you're doing. And you just, you know, pick around and they are just uh, expanding your options. I brought up electronics, which is, like, physics, but with extra level of difficulty. <laughs> if physics was fun, I chose it wasn't. I chose biology, then I chose, well, I chose something else as well. Biology, and one more thing, and fine art, yeah, fine art, remember that. I literally wanted to choose one the beginning, they didn't let me. Yeah, well, I will die if I fell for. I just didn't know what I was doing in my life back then. And it might sound like I'm living in my past at the moment, but I'm not. There's only so much you can do, right? About oh, history. The past is history, the future is a mystery, and the present is a gift. That's why it's called the present. I apologize for the lack of coherency and lack of coherent speech in this. I just wanted to record this video as like, um, someone can't tell, what do you expect? It's gonna be scuffed. I wanted to record this video 
the whole whole month of how I think about this family thing. Because like, I could be 20 and I could be so ultra rich. Like, like 20, that's what, two years away? I could be potentially ultra rich and I say that. I don't think I'm too rich. Making 5,000, 10,000 a month, probably, most likely by then. But then let's say I'm ultra rich, multi-millionaire multi status. Uh, like, I'm just chill with multi-millionaire status. No one really knows. I can afford to raise my own family. And I think to myself, I have I reach an ultimatum. Hey, I could be 20. And what, by the time my kid's 16 or 17, so he has the ability to think and act for himself at 16, 17, 18. Like, I'll be 36. So I'll be young enough as well. I can have more kids and, and, and stuff. And we can grow up together. By the time he's 20, I'm 20, I'll be 40 and he'll be 20. I'll be uh, twice his age. I'll be still young enough to do like one shit in life. Very young. And if you just think about it, it's weird. It's um, it's weird. I, I would have to dedicate my life to kids. I wouldn't have the fun, like fun twenties. Everyone else having fun. I think I, have, I would have so much FOMO. But after everyone's like, it's it's weird. It's like, it's like a bell curve. Everyone having so much fun, and I'm here. I'm having FOMO. But I don't know, after my kids, I get to see them grow up and, you know, succeed in life. And I'm having my own business, I'm succeeding in life to make a bunch of money. And I'm living life as well. You know, I can still like, have fun around and partying and shit. Kids can go away, nanny type shit. And then my old friends that were having parties, that were having parties, their life kind of goes downhill. Because they need to focus on work and grinding and putting their head down to the grindstone, earning money. And then I already have the money set in place and the kids set in place. And then in life, uh, it would have been like here in the beginning. But then after a while, I will supersede them, ultra supersede them because I'll, I'll have kids and I'll have my legacy and they won't have shit they'll be here grinding and it's going to be like for a while and they're still going to have it they're going to be way after I'm quite weird I think family is so important but rushing to have family when you're young is especially asinine Get your run. I did. Well, it's not coming already. Oh, it's raining quantity today. I'm planning to go on a run still, though. My cardio is shit. So I gotta get it up again. I know. Family. I should not be thinking about family at this moment. I should be thinking about making money. It's like a, this is an odd thought that I'm getting. In all honesty. I was looking at Vietnam recently. It is so nice. I keep not. So nice. How many people move out of Vietnam into the UK in order to live here comparatively to living in Vietnam? Vietnam is so much more fun. Now that's better as well if you're into that. Now that's better. Views are better. Hotels are better. Cheaper as well. You, you come to like a Western country and be pretty to make money. So a lot, of, a lot of guys do that, a lot of immigrant guys, they, they do that, they come to this country, make a bunch of money, and they just send it back home, which isn't the best course of action, they should keep for themselves, and then try to make more money with that money. I'm not in this video here, man. How long is this video? 40 minutes? God damn, 40 minutes. My stupid ass rambling.